At Forever Paws Animal Shelter, our mission is simple. Place these valued animals in loving homes. Forever Paws Animal Shelter, giving animals a new leash on life. Hey, what up chicks and chumps? I'm Brad the Guitar just in the his house. Uh, today, got something a little bit different. Uh, you can see there are a couple boxes there. We're only concerned with the one on the top here. About, a, oh, about three weeks ago or so, a company contacted me and said, hey, we want to send you uh, one of our instruments for you to review on your YouTube channel. So I was kind of reluctant at first, but I clicked on their link just to check them out. And my God, they had some stuff on there that was just so freaking cheap, uh, it just defied explanation. So I said, you know what? Yeah, yeah, send me uh, this. And also while you're at it, send me this other thing too. Uh, <laughs> so there should be two things in this box instead of just one. Um, they did say that were, they were gonna send me both. So we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna get all up in these guts and... <laughs> I'll edit that out. <laughs> And we'll see what they sent me here. Uh, but yeah, man, I, I looked on their website and they had more than just guitars. They said they had, you know, an instruments. Um, but uh, looking on their website, man, yeah, the stuff was just so freaking cheap. It was just uh, utterly ridiculous. I can see that uh, some of, they also hit up a few other YouTubers, which a lot of companies do. They'll hit more than one YouTuber at the same time. Um, you know, when they're doing their kind of ad campaign or whatever, trying to get the word out. Um, but I saw that uh, Lucas Lucas Fowler reviewed one of these on his channel. This is a different one, though, than the one he had. But this is from a company called Glary. www.glarymusic.com And I had them send me a guitar and also... A ukulele. Now the ukulele, uh, I'll probably do in another video, but we're going to open it up and look at it in this video. Okay. I'm I I don't have high hopes for for this ukulele being in one piece, to be honest, because it doesn't feel like they. Uh, put anything in the box other than just you know what it shipped from China with. We'll see. Maybe we'll get lucky. I'm gonna cut you. Okay, so here's the ukulele. Let's see what we've gotten ourselves here. Like I said, I hope this thing isn't broken. I kind of half expect it to be. But they had several models of uh, both ukulele and guitars. This was the one that kind of caught my attention. I can already tell that it's been uh, it's been dried out. Okay. Yeah, this thing is pretty this thing is unfinished. And by unfinished, I mean I mean it's it's built, but uh, the wood is all natural. It's unfinished wood. If I wanted to, I could uh, finish this up. We will review this, like I said, in another video. A couple things I can already tell is that there's uh, there's fret sprout on the neck here, so you know there would be some work to do there. Um, cool little rosette. It's, it's uh, etched into the wood. It's actually it looks like it's laser etched into the wood. Um, yeah, there's there's definitely a few finish and fit, uh, fit and finish issues on this that I can kind of already see. But I mean, for the price that they're selling these things for, it's just a ridiculous price. And uh, I didn't have a good uh, tenor. So yeah, cool, tenor ukulele for free for me. Like I said, we'll do another video on it and uh, check it out a little more in depth, tune it up, probably do a little bit of work on it to get it right. Uh, but this is what I really wanted to show today. This is the guitar. And yeah, their website is uh, www.glarymusic.com. Seriously though, open up another tab in your browser and check out the prices on these stupid things, man. I was like blown away. I, th th this guitar, if you bought it today, costs uh, 60, like 60 bucks 
And that's it for a new guitar. I don't know how they're making money. I really don't. Because I think they have free shipping too. I think it's free shipping as well. I mean, hell, shipping almost is, is that much on a, a guitar. And it comes with a gig bag. <laughs> I was like, what? They don't even ship it in the gig bag. That's one of the things I noticed uh, after they had contacted me. I noticed that Lucas Fowler, uh, he put up a video after um, they had contacted me also. And uh, there's a strap as well. So it comes with a free strap and a free gig bag. But they don't ship the, he said, he mentioned it too, they don't ship the guitar in the gig bag, which is kind of silly. It would have given it at least some extra padding. But I know they're made at different factories, I'm sure, and just stuck together. So uh, You also get uh, <laughs> a, a cable. So And there's your bar and adjustment uh, hex wrench. Two adjustment hex wrenches for your various things for your neck and for your bridge but yeah let's let's do the reveal on this they have uh, several their, their website's kind of weird um, they have several finishes in each type and you kind of have to go into it and you have to figure out how to look at the other finishes because it's not it's not really evident right off the bat oh yeah Not bad. All, I mean, this is a three-tone sunburst that I got. They had uh, they had an option of a maple neck, and this is an unfinished uh, neck. So there's no finish on this whatsoever. So if you wanted to finish it, um, you could do so. Uh, it's black on the back, but yeah, three-tone sunburst. But they also had a uh, version. Uh, with a rosewood fretboard, which I tried to get at first, and uh, they said it was not in stock. But yeah, first impressions, I mean, it's not, this is not half bad. Let me move this up. Yeah, first impressions. Um, it doesn't feel half bad. Really doesn't. The neck, neck's, neck looks pretty straight. It might need an adjustment. Of course, it just came from probably overseas and wasn't even touched this is like way better than I even expected there's no fret sprout on this um, got a plastic nut which is you know I would definitely expect that uh, cheap Chinese tuners I, I mean all the hardware I'm sure is Chinese we got some Looks like kind of some scratching on the back of the headstock. It's going to be kind of hard to see, I would I would think. I don't know, maybe you can see it. See if I can show you what I'm talking about. It just looks like It just looks like tool marks or something. You, do you see them? You see the scratching? Almost I don't know, almost like it was dragged across something <laughs> before the uh or maybe somebody just was really really clumsy about putting those uh, tuners on can you even see them I, I'm not sure you can see them so yeah I mean that's you know but 60 bucks dude that's to be expected to have some imperfections like that so anyway there's that uh, top finish looks pretty good now I'm you know Take this with a grain of salt because uh, a lot of companies will send they will send their best effort to YouTubers if they know they're going to be reviewed. So um, it could be the case that this is better than the one that you'll end up getting. So if you get one, but there is there is a little ding here. <clears throat> Let's see. See, there's a little ding right there. Looks like there's a couple another little one right there and this thing is very light look I can pick this up with my with one hand but yeah you can see the ding right there and I suspect you know it might be the case that uh, this might have gone out you know under a different brand like uh, the factory who is producing these 
may have produced this for a, a different brand at first, but um, but these are the ones that were either you know sent back with blemishes or whatever. They were caught at the factory with blemishes, and then they were just rebadged as this company, and they're selling them you know as a kind of a blowout deal. Uh, but the finish on it's not half bad. I mean, I kind of expected worse, but this isn't bad. I'm certain this is this is a poly finish. I mean, I doubt you're getting nitro for that kind of price. Somebody already removed the. Uh, yeah, they they did. Yeah, somebody already removed the plastic off of the pick card, and you can see there are little remnants of plastic here and there. So that kind of lends credence to the possibility at least that this was some kind of return or is or is it still on there maybe it's still on there no it's gone no plastic there's a scratch uh, a couple scratches actually that's the worst of them though there's a scratch right there on the pit guard <laughs> but again I mean what well, scratches there I mean there's a little scratches here and there but that you know the plastics removed and it looks like somebody maybe tried to repair that ding. But I mean, for sixty for sixty bucks, I mean literally sixty bucks, and that's shipped to your door. That that's with free shipping. I don't know how they're able to do it. I mean, robots. I suppose it's just robots. You know, you populate a factory with a bunch of robots, CNC machines, and then just kind of leave it. <laughs> maybe check in on it at noon or something. <laughs> you know. And, and just just come in when the body the guitar bodies are like falling off the conveyor belt you know and onto the floor and they're just piled up so high you have to move them or sweep them out of the way for the next batch to come off the line <laughs> maybe that explains the price I don't know but yeah man uh, let's get this thing plugged in I, I think I wanna I, you know we're gonna at least check out the tone of it and you know see what it sounds like we may also take it apart I don't know we're definitely going to do some uh, work on this, and I'll, I'll see what kind of work it's going to take to optimize this for, you know, actual play. I mean, because usually when you get something like this, you're going to have to do some work to it. So we're going to see what kind of work is going to be necessary to get this thing up to speed where you can, you can at least learn on it. Now, I will, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it or not, but I will tell you the neck is nice and straight. It's got a real straight neck. Um, like I said, I don't know if they selected a good one for me or, or what, but yeah, man, this thing is pretty much arrow straight. It's got a slight back bow even, maybe, but the, uh, the setup is not bad. I mean, the strings are low. Um, you know, the neck angle, one of the things that, uh, Lucas pointed out on the one he got was that the neck angle wasn't great. The neck angle on this one's not too bad, actually. There's there's actually still a lot of room to lower the saddles if you want to do so, which we may very well do so. Heck, they even set the trim up the way I like it with a little bit of uh, forward, so you can you can pull up slightly. I, I like to be able to when I do uh, trim work, I like to be able to pull up slightly on the bar. So yeah, cool. The bag. I can't really say much for the bag, it's just kind of here. It's just a bit of nylon. But I mean, you know, what did, what did it cost to produce this bag, you know? What did it cost to, to build the machine that sat there and made these bags all day and ran off into the floor? <laughs> I'm just forever uh, shocked by what you get, you know, when, for on some of this Chinese stuff because it's just like, Pretty incredible um, that they're able to produce this stuff at these kinds of prices, um, you know, and and just basically undercut everybody. Um, there's no way, you know, if if it wasn't for the quality concerns um, on something like this, you know, and if, if you're if you don't know what you're doing, like with setups and things like that, I wouldn't recommend you know taking a, a roll of the dice on something like this, but. Um, you know, for somebody like me, if you can do your own setups, you're you're golden. You know, if you can do any kind of setup work, if you can 
uh, adjust your neck angles if you can adjust your saddles uh, if you can resolder a jack if it's you know if there's a broken jack or something like that you know if you don't have to send the thing back for those uh, pathetic reasons <laughs> So yeah, on my way to uh, set this thing up on the bench, I played it for about 10 minutes, and uh, this is what the fretboard looks like after about 10 minutes of play. You can see all of the, uh, you can see all the, the dirt and stuff in the fret. And my hands were clean when I started playing it. This is just stuff that was picked up off, probably off of the frets, I would imagine, because uh, the frets were probably, you know, freshly worked frets, and they didn't. Uh, uh, and the strings probably are a bit tarnished as well, but look at the tips of my fingers. Like I said, after about 10 minutes of play. <laughs> it's all the fucking noise. Shitty cables, shitty cables.
Okay, so obviously the intonation is like way off. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I can even tell just by looking at where they have this set, the intonation's not right. Uh, so you would have to do that yourself or have it done by someone if you can't do it yourself. Plus the electronics are just really noisy. It's, it's not even just the, you know, being a strat and being around, you know, other things. It's, well, let's see. It really doesn't like this little mixer over here. But yeah, just all kinds of interference in the room that's just really introducing a lot of noise. And plus, it's just every time you touch the pit guard at all, you know, you've got noise. So you would, you would want to do something ideally with the uh, electronics. Um, so right away, you know, between a setup um, and the electronics, and if you wanted to finish the neck on this thing, you could do that with some tongue oil, and that would be a, that would be one cheap thing that I would definitely do with one of these. Uh, sand the neck down, uh, take all the little tool marks out. Just um, you know, start maybe with some 600 grit, and then move on to uh, like thou you know thousand grit, and then 2,000 grit, and then do uh, well. You wouldn't have to go as low as 2,000 grit really to get a good. Uh, finish on it, but uh, you know put some tongue oil in it let that soak in put another coat on Let that soak in and the neck would feel uh, probably a hell of a lot better and it would protect it a little bit better, too So you would want to definitely do those things to one of these if you got one, but I mean for 60 bucks. It's like Geez, I mean this would be a good throw just a throwaway guitar really I mean just throw it into the car and uh, Like on days when I'm picking up my daughter from school. This would be a good one to have in there just um, just sitting there, you know, so I could pick up and just uh, when I'm waiting in line, I could have something to do, something to fiddle on. It does have a, you know, it has a Fender style headstock. If that's something that you would want to do, you could uh, you could sand that off if you wanted to modify that or do a custom thing on that. Um, but I mean, for sixty bucks, it's a good buy. I I can't really shake a stick at sixty bucks. You know, <laughs> it could be a, almost a total piece of trash, and sixty bucks would be pretty reasonable. But it's not a piece of trash. It's it's actually a decent little guitar. The setup is actually passable, with the exception of the uh, intonation being slightly off on some chords. Um, and you know, you could probably make these pots work if you wanted these. Uh, not to spend money on the electronics, you could probably make these work, and they'd work a little bit better if they were potted. They'd be a little less microphonic. Then you wouldn't. You probably wouldn't pick up as much of the, uh, you know, the noise. Something you would definitely want to address. But anyway, that's a uh, $60 Glary Stratocaster. Hope you guys enjoy this video. If you have, please hit subscribe down below. And for now, y'all take care. Hey.